Hi, it's Vex, and it's that time again. Time to update my Azusa deck. That's right. If you've been following the channel for a while, you know that my Pride and Joy deck is my foil Azusa deck. I've made uh, deck tech videos on it. I've made uh, it's my second update, update upgrade video uh, for Azusa deck. This is the Strixhaven version. We had the Zendikar Rising version, which, you know, obviously a land set in a land deck. Uh, has lots of cards. Today we only have eight cards between um, Commander Legends, Strixhaven, and Kaldheim. And yes, there isn't that many cards. There's some art updates. There's some uh, card updates. We'll, we'll get to those. But first, let's just uh, see this deck. Again, it takes two 80 card um, uh, Ultimate Guard boulders to hold my deck because of A. There's this thick section of tokens, this gray section right here, as you see. And the cards are double sleeved in the uh, KMC hard sleeves. They're like double thickness of a of a, um, a regular uh, like inner sleeve. Okay, so this deck is pretty big with its tokens, as you can see. This is the thickness of the deck right here. It's really thick. Um, but I gotta I got protect my full cards. And Zuzu is our commander here. We actually updated the uh, commander card in our last update to the extended art Azusa. And I've noticed, quick aside, is that the extended art, uh, some extended art pieces are not the, um, or actually truly extended art. It's not the same picture blown up, but it's just the same picture with extra art on the sides. That's cool. I've noticed that on the, I think Witherbloom Command has that. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if Wonder and Kayak has it, because if you cut off the arms, you kind of cut off the arms but anyways let's uh let's go let's check out what updates we have so we have these eight updates today um and then after we go through the updates i'll just show you the deck because it's, it's just fun to see again because I, I i love looking through this deck all the time uh, okay these are the eight updates you can see here previously we had two non-foil cards in the deck being of progress and titania uh, Titania, I wish they would print foil. My God. But they did print Band of Progress in foil. Thank God. So now this deck is 99% foil right here. We have a, finally a foil Band of Progress in Commander Collection Green. Finally. All right. So we're going to update that. You know, I actually like this art better than this art, but this art does not come in foil. So it's out. Non foil is out. Foil is in. So now our deck is 99% foil. Yes, you can say, hey, Vex, just put a different card in. This is actually our secondary commander, and sometimes I love playing with this um, Titania as a commander just as much as Azusa right here. Uh, so one day they'll have an alternate art judge or whatever foil. This card actually needs a reprint desperately. It's, it's getting expensive. So one day, we hope, we'll be foiling. Okay, so we'll have this giant stack here. And as you remember, if you watched my last video, I updated from the uh, dual deck Avengers Endicar to the double master Avengers Endicar. But guess what? We're updating it one more time. So yeah, these are just art updates. No, no card update yet. So we're updating from the Avengers Endicar double masters to the Avengers Endicar with the showcase frame from Secret Layer. And I do like both pictures a lot. But this showcase frame looks really, really nice. So, and it's not as bent because I've kept it in a flat surface for a while. So that's that's a, a positive for Secret Layer. And I've got this hard sleeve. This hard sleeve really helps to keep it straight. So it's not that it's not that bad. All right. So that's another art update here. Another art update here is Primal Command. I had Primal Command here from Modern Masters Three, and they actually printed Primal Command. Let's see if I can find it here in. Strixhaven Mystical Archive. I love this picture too. So this is a really, really cool um, update. It's, it looks kind of weird because my whole deck is green, as you as you can see. But, you know, it's cool to have different kind of arts. I, I guess I do have a... Uh, let's see if I can find it here. I do have a special... I can't find it. Let's see. A special... Hmm, maybe it's like lost somewhere. Oh, here it is. Black Nissa. So I do have one black card in this deck. Uh, so, you know, it's 
gotta, gotta embrace the uh, different art styles. Yellow is not that bad. So that's another update there, primal command. Then we have our card updates here. What we do is we're just changing out cold snap, snow covered forest. That's pretty easy. Swap for a Kaldheim. They had new snow covered forest in there. It's Kaldheim forest. Those are our four art updates here. Keep our Zusa in there. Now we have card updates. So first card update is from Commander Legends War Room. Right here. Uh, and it's got the extended art. And it's cool because it's a monocolor deck. So you just, you know, tap three, pay up three generic tap. Pay life equal number of colors in your commander's color identity. One. Draw a card. So you just pay one life, tap three, pay one life, draw a card. We had um, Arch of Araska here where you, you require City's Blessing and you pay five, draw a card. And activate only if you have City's Blessing. That is a steeper cost than just paying three, pay one life, draw a card. And then you do it without the uh, City's Blessing Clause. So we're saying bye to our Arch Oraska. And we're also saying goodbye to our um, Seize Blessing, Foil Seize Blessing token, which I actually will keep in here because it's still fun. One day I, I might just put Wayward Swordtooth back in the deck just to get Seize Blessing token uh, in use again. But this is a an upgrade, not a strict upgrade because you still have to pay the life, but a very good upgrade uh, nonetheless. Next we have a forest. We're just going to take this. Um, Guilds of Ravnica Forest. It looks a little dark. It's I like this forest, but I have um, a Ravnica Allegiance Forest in here, so I'm and I like that one better. So take this out, swap it for another snow covered forest from Field of the Dead. For Field of the Dead, but also from Kaldheim. So this is the second snow covered forest from Kaldheim, so we're gonna put that right there with this forest here. And then we have two new cards uh, from Strixhaven. So Strixhaven has done a major upgrade for this deck here. I'm going to swap out another forest, War of the Spark. I used to have, um, again, I took the Guilds of Ravnica one. So I'm taking War of the Spark out because I still have the Ravnica Legions one in there. I do like this forest, but it just doesn't look as foresty. Uh, so I'm actually taking it out, not for a land, surprisingly, for this new card, Abundant Harvest, uh, pre-printed in Strixhaven, actually. This will be Modern Horizons 2. I'll read the card because it's actually a very, very powerful card. Not yet legal and modern until they print it in Modern Horizons 2, but very good in Legacy right now. Choose land or non-land. So for one green, sorcery. Reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal a card of the chosen kind. Put that card into your hand, the rest in the bottom of your library in a random order. So this is a rift off of the card Abundance, which is an enchantment that lets you do that every, uh, every draw step, I believe. Um, but it's just, it's just a one-time use. The cool part is this acts like a land, when you need it to be a land. You just pay one green, it's like lay of the land. One green, grab the next land from the top of your deck. But when you don't need the extra land, you're, you know, this deck has you know, 42, well now 41 lands, you, you, you can grab an action card with Abundant Harvest. So I think this is an extremely powerful card. This will see play in Modern a lot. That's why it's in the deck. There we go. Then, I believe this is the staple I rate this as number two, I believe, in my called um, a strict save in top ten, but I might be wrong. I believe this might be the, the best card because it's colorless. Uh, Wandering Archaic. Let's actually read Wandering Archaic. Actually, it has a uh, another side which is not very relevant in the deck, but could be used. Who knows? Five generic mana goes in any EDH deck. Very powerful. And with, with this deck, we we probably could ramp it out turn four. Uh, maybe if we're lucky, turn. Three, and whenever an opponent casts an instant or sorcery spell, they may pay two. If they don't, you may copy that spell. You may choose new targets for the copy. Wow! So if you want to swords it, it's gonna cost you three mana. But if you get this out early, it's gonna hinder, it's gonna really hinder your mana development because people aren't ramping, aren't playing mana rocks, aren't playing their commander. So just getting ready. This is a removal magnet. But if they don't have removal, wow! Imagine if you play this and your opponent say, "Okay, I don't have removal, but I need to ramp." They play Cultivate, you, you get a Cultivate. So, extremely good. We have the backside here. Explore the Vast Lands, three colorless, three generic man, I mean. And this is, I, I probably will play this one out of every thousand games. I don't, I don't even know if I'll ever play this side, but let's read it anyways. Each player looks at the top five cards of the library, reveals a land, card, and or instant sorcery card from among them. 
So every player gets to do it. Then puts a card they revealed this way into their hand and the rest of the bottom of the library in a random order. Each player gains three life. So this is a group hug. Uh, if you're desperate and you need to gain that three life, maybe it's worth it or you don't have your fifth land to play one or a kick. No, it's worth this, but this is card disadvantage because you're giving each player a card and giving them a life. So, one archaic front side, that's going in. What's going out is Woodland Bellowers. I know I've used this to tutor up uh, Ramnap Excavator, oops, Tireless Tracker, um, Rex Sage, Corsair, and stuff like that. But I believe that this is, since this is cheaper, um, even though this comes with two creatures, I believe. The one archaic is a little more, more powerful here, so I'm going to replace that with one archaic. So those are our eight replacements. These are eight cards going out. Woodland Bellowers, two forest, one snow covered forest. I put that one this side here. We have our Art Swap, Primal Command, Arts, um, Card Swap, Arch of Raska, Art Swap, uh, Avengers Zendikar and Art Swap, Bane of Progress. So let's just actually put these together the way they're supposed to be. Bane of Progress here, Bench of Zendikar, Primal Command. Let's see here, Snow Cover 4. So these are the swaps. Top is in, bottom is out. Let's see, we got room here. War Room, Archer Raska, Abundant Harvest. Forest, Snow Cover Forest, replacing a forest and one archaic replacing woodland bellowers. So th those are our changes. Again, as time goes by, unless a huge land set comes out, it's hard to make these replacements. I mean, there there always be art replacements because they have cool, cool arts like this. My most anticipated replacement would be Titania. One of these days. But since we have a little, just a little bit of time, why not? I'll just go through the rest of the deck to catch you, you guys up. Uh, because it's cool, just go through this deck, I love it. We have our Kaladesh Inventions, all 10 of them, right there. That looks so gorgeous. Oh, this art looks so gorgeous. I, I, I hope they don't reprint art, these cards. If they do, then you know, the value will tank. Maybe they'll make a secret layer Kaladesh Inventions, make more inventions, but who knows? Who knows what the future holds? But we have Mana Crypt, Soul Ring, Mana Vault, Chrome Mox, so your fast mana right there. Solemn, yes, you don't play Solemn in a green deck, but you do when you have the Invention Foil. Crucible, very important green deck. Lightning Greaves, Duplicant, Planar Bridge, Oblivion Stone. Now, th these cards are not optimal for this deck. Obviously, Solemn is... I'd rather play Cultivate over Solemn, but it is an Invention, so it looks cool. Again, that's the beauty of EDH. You, you play cards that you like. You don't have to play cards that are optimum. You have other cool cards. It's actually the only... Um, besides... Uh, let's see, actually... No, this actually is the only full art card we have in here. Scavenger Ooze. Right there, full art Scavenger Ooze. Scavenging Ooze. We have some extended art cards. Eternal Witness from the first extended art, Ultimate Masters, box topper. Let's see, Life from Loam was a box topper too. Let's see, any more box toppers? Oh, these are box toppers. Kuzlak and Ulamog. Box toppers. So... Those are the original extended arts, and they were in the deck. And then you have your your new extended arts coming up from uh, Theros Beyond Death, Theros Beyond Death, so Dryad of Leasing Grove, Nylea's Intervention, Heroic in Intervention. Oh, it's Nylea's Intervention and Heroic Intervention. It's kind of interesting. <laughs> I never put the two two together. You got Shia, Ancient Green Warren, Turn to Symbiosis. So even though you took out some lands, you do have some uh, Mortal Double Face card lands here. And Right there, so that's pretty neat. Oops, dropping cards left and right here. So those are our extended arts. Move over to the expeditions. These are the original Zendikar expeditions, the four green fetch lands. Here I know people argue that since it's a fetch is a blue land, it shouldn't be allowed, but these are colorless cards and they don't have mana symbols on them, so they're perfectly legal and uh, mono, mono green color identity. We have some uh, Ancient Tomb, Dust Bowl. We also have the, the theme of this deck, if you didn't watch the deck tech, is land destruction, destroy your opponent's lands, and then win through uh, card, card advantage or land advantage. So you have Dust Bowl, Wasteland, Technology Edge, Strip Mine, so three land destruction spells. Strip Mine is obviously the best one you want. 
Prismatic Vista from the new uh, Zendikar Expedition, uh, ex Zendikar Rising Expeditions. Here, got the new Prismatic Vista. Here, I, I didn't swap the uh, fetch lands because I just like these old ones, old, old from the original Zendikar Rising. I mean, original Zendikar Expedition. But this one had a a new art. I used to have old Pris Prismatic Vista in there, but now I have this. A Fable Passage extended art. So from Thorn Out Drain, Castle Grievenbrig extended art. So some standard art lands. Gingerbread Cabin because it's a forest and it's just fun. <laughs> it's fun to have a cabin. Cycling lands. Got this desert here, Desert of the Nominal Cycling, but also have the um, Scavenger Grounds to do some shenanigans with that to uh, remove some more graveyards more, multiple times. Ghost Quarter, more land destruction. This does not have any cool expedition. So these are just pack foils here. That's been staged, Fuel of the Dead. Pretty neat cards. Last zone. Need some removal in green. Got some cool forest. Here, got the new M21 Garrick forest. I do have the um, the guild kit forest in foil. I, I have two of these each. I know I should only have one because, but I just love them so much because of the uh, the thing around this border here. Like this has the Gruul logo, Simic, Celestia, and Golgari. It just I just love them so much. Have some snow covered lands, uh, Cold Snap. I still have one of these Cold Snap lands and the uh, uh, Throne of Eldraine, um, Eldraine Wonderland. I think what it's called, Secret Lair. Oh, more snow covered lands. And as I said before, we had the black Nissa. God, it looks so crazy. It's like super black. And then it does have a backside too. It has like the little green. I'm not sure you can see it. The green, see, that's pretty neat there. Stained glass Nissa, SDCC Nissa. Um, some promo art, you know, a six line. Then you got there. Trusted on with the uh, five magic logos on there. No, that doesn't count towards color identity. It's just a little watermark. I know it's kind of funny. Showcase Lotus Cobra. This could actually pack pack foils, but it's like alternate pack foil. Harmonize. There was a um, mystical archive. Harmonize. See if I can find it here. I have mystical archive stack here next to me. There was a mystical archive. Harmonize, but it's just this is the only like. Time shifted harmonize I have or time shifted card I have, so I just I just just want to keep it here because this is the only one that looks like this in the deck. And yeah, just regular pack foils. I know eventually there'll be secret layer everything, so there'll be no more regular pack foils. I think Ramnet Excavator has a uh, extended art. We don't know, um, but it's not foil. So there's some regular pack foils. Horn Green, my only artifact that is not an expedition. I thought about getting this altar as an exhibition, but I, I don't want altar cards in this deck. So that is the deck. There are my previous videos down in the description below, along with a uh, deck list from each update. And also, there's a my TCG player affiliate link down in the description below as well if you want to support the channel. But those are my updates for today, these eight cards. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, smash the subscribe button, hit the notification bell to get alerted. And as always, have a wonderful day.